guys welcome back to the Moran family so today's video is my daughter's room makeover she's getting her very own room for the first time so if you're new here hi my name is Brittany I do have three girls Layla who is eight Aurora is four and Jade is one so Layla is the one who is getting her own room she's eight years old and she's super excited our her current room right now is kind of crazy because it was previously my husband's like gaming room slash guest room so there's just a lot of stuff in there like the treadmill weights a tv a futon just like a bunch of stuff so we're going to clear that out and totally transform it into her own big girl room so we're super excited and then as for my other girls they are going to be transitioning into sharing a room because right now jade my youngest who is my one-year-old she's on the side of my bed i have a crib on the side of my bed so we're going to be taking down that crib too and then she's going to go into the room with my four-year-old daughter aurora there's a house trundle bed in there so jade is going to be sleeping on the bottom and then aurora is going to be sleeping on the top so it's going to be a huge transition for all of us, but we're all really excited and I'm like happy to show you guys the progress. So we started already. Well, Benny mostly started, but this is our back room. It looks really crazy right now because everything is getting moved around, but this is going to be Layla's room. So all of this is going and then we're going to change homeschool room, which is this room also really crazy right now so all of this I have to go through it get rid of a bunch of stuff and then most of the homeschool stuff is gonna get stored in the garage and then this is gonna be like the guest room slash Benny's room wanted to show you guys the progress it's a couple days later we did a ton so as you guys remember this was the homeschool room so now this is going to be like Benny's gaming room slash guest room. We just need to get like a little pull out sofa couch right there. And then that is all like leaving this closet. We're just waiting to have a yard sale. I was going to wait until it was completely styled to show you guys, but house projects always just take a while, especially with the kids. And this is just like realistic. It happens. House projects just get very crazy with three kids but this was previously the homeschool room now it's Benny's guest room hey <laughs> he's so big you guys haven't seen him in a while and then Layla's room is the craziest right now because we haven't really done anything in here because this is the last room that I wanted to work on because we needed to like clear it out and just like transition stuff from this room to the other room so this is the last room that's going to be worked on, but I'm super excited for it. This is also like yard sale stuff. This is all of her things that need to be built in here. All of this stuff is getting taken out too. And then we took the doors off of the closet because they were terrible and they just would not stay on the track. So she's going to have an open closet in here too. This is part of one of her like storage things that I'm going to be making in this video. So some of her decoration, like her rug, that's going to get hung in here. She has her little lamp. And then that's also going to get hung in here. Some of those picture frames are going to get hung in here. And then the two homeschool carts are going to stay in her closet probably. And then the other thing that we did is in my room. So I'll show you guys that. So this is what we did in my room. So if you guys remember, we had Jade's crib right here on the side of my bed because I had like a little bedside nursery going on. Well, we took down the crib because she doesn't really ever sleep in it she kind of did once we first converted it to a toddler bed but she's going to hopefully soon start sleeping in the room with aurora but for now she just ends up in our bed so we took down the crib and then since we no longer have the homeschool room my desk is now on the side of my bed and it fits perfect and then i have one more thing to show you guys before we go ahead and work on layla's room so now i'm in the playroom it's very messy like I said, things get really messy when you're trying to do house projects with the kids. But this is the newest addition to the playroom. This is going to be our new homeschool setup, but this is going to be a whole separate video. So if you guys want to see our new minimal homeschool setup, then make sure you're following me so you don't miss that. 
but it is perfect. I love the like little arches on it. I'm definitely going to have to put a little baby proofing thing on here so she doesn't go in it. But it's perfect. It has holes in the back so we can do like chargers for the iPads or whatever the case may be. And then for now, oh, see, <laughs> I'm gonna have to take this out for now until we get some baby proofing, but we have the construction paper in here. I just wanted to make sure that fits that way. I can like assess on what I need to order because I'm trying to get like storage bins. But yeah, I love it. So make sure you're following me if you guys want to see our new minimal homeschool setup because we mostly do homeschool now in the playroom. So I wanted like a little cabinet in here just to have like our daily stuff. So now we're going to go ahead and work on Layla's room. Yay! later and we've done more stuff than the last time I picked up the camera so I'm gonna show you really quickly because all that's really needed in this room now is to add the finishing touches start decorating adding her clothes in here so I just finished up this Lego table so this shelf is the IKEA Trofast and I did a little DIY situation and I added on these baseboards so she can put all of her legos up here she can build up there just organize all of her legos in here so they're all color coordinated so here's what the shelf looks like when the bins are pushed in so it's pretty small but it's perfect for what i wanted it to be which is the lego table so i want a mirror to be hung over here it's right there and then all of this stuff has to be organized her bed is all set up. I have to put the bedding on it and just like pick up this room. So I'm gonna try to speed through all of this, add the finishing touches, and then I'll show you guys her full room makeover reveal. We also organized this yesterday in her old room because she had toys like all scattered in there. So I use these clear bins on this cart. So this basket has like all her fidgets. This is kind of like a random bin. And then we did like Shopkins, Hatchimals, LOLs. And then down here, all of the Polly Pockets. So that's another thing we did yesterday. done the finishing touch is going to be her bedding and i'm super stoked about it so her bedding is from betty's they were super sweet to gift us this boho rainbow set i'm super excited about this it has a feature that i feel like would come in handy with my girls because if your kids are like mine mine are not the best at making their bed every single morning and I'm the type of person who likes her bed made every morning. So it kind of drives me nuts when I see the blankets all over the place. So what's really cool about this one is your bedding zips up. So I am super excited about it. So I'm going to open it, put it on her mattress. And I think it is going to really 
tie in her room and just really elevate it. So I'm super excited about it. So here's what the bedding looks like it went on super easily so the features that i really love about this bedding is it's like an all-in-one situation so i don't know if you guys could tell in the video when i was putting it on but it's like a sheet built in too so it wraps around your mattress and then the comforter is also just like all attached so it's just all one piece and this part is what sold me on this bedding. It just easily zips. It zips on this side and it also zips on that side so that way she can fully pull back both if she wants to or she can just climb in through one side. So here's what the inside looks like. This is their boho rainbow print. So it's kind of like a sleeping bag on top of the mattress, but like the cozy feel of a comforter. So I'm super excited about this. I love it. I think it turned out super good. It also came with the two pillowcases. I plan on getting her some more pillows, but I absolutely love the way it turned out. I feel like it really ties in the room. Super cute. I'm super excited about it. So thank you to Betty's for sending this over for Layla. I'll have a link down below in the description as always if you guys want to shop Betty's if there's any like sales or discounts going on that will also be in my description down below but I love it so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up in here clean up this mess over here and then we'll do the final review with Layla so it is officially Layla's room reveal day. I'm so excited to show you guys how it turned out. This room is so bittersweet. I absolutely love the way it turned out, but it's also a little sad because she's getting older. This is her first room by herself because she was always like, it was just me and her for a while. And then she was always sharing a room with Aurora since Aurora was around like six months old. So she has never had her own room. So this is her first big girl room. So it has a mom. It is just so bittersweet, but I'm happy with how it turned out. So now officially her room reveal. <music> So now I'm gonna take you guys through her room really quickly. If you've been keeping up with our family for a while, then a lot of this stuff probably looks familiar to you because I moved a lot of things around and I had a lot of this stuff saved already. So I'm gonna just take you guys through it really quickly. So first, her closet. She has a open closet just like the open closet that I did in my other girl's room. This I love. The doors were sliding and they just were terrible. They would always come off the track and stuff. So we took off the doors and then up top, I just have some extra shoes for Layla and Aurora that they will be wearing soon, but it's just way too hot for tennis shoes. And then she has these baskets up here that have just some extra things. So this one has like a little macrame hanging that I wanna hang up in here still. She has some like squishies, so just like extra things. She has her pineapple up there. And then I hung this up, which I usually would use for Valentine's Day, but I thought it would look cute in here. So I just put some nails on the wall and hung it up there. And then all of her clothes are hung up. I kind of tried to do like a rainbow situation. So we have all of her short sleeve, her long sleeves, and then this dress right here is super pretty. This is actually Aurora's. But since it's so poofy and Aurora is sharing a room with Jade right now, there was no room in the closet. So Layla was nice to have that in here. And then you may recognize this cubby shelf in these wooden bins. This was previously in Aurora's room, the other room that Layla was sleeping in. 
but I took it out because I wanted to make that room more baby proof because Jade is one years old so I just wanted to make that room more appropriate for her and I didn't want her to possibly like pull down these bins on her so now it's in Layla's closet she has extra like blankets in here extra toys just so that way she has like more extra storage in here so that's what that is and then you may recognize this basket too because it was in the other room but I moved that room around too let me know if you guys want to see Aurora and Jade's room it's still pretty much the same but I did take some stuff out and then add some new stuff so let me know if you guys want to see that so this little basket is just holding her extra blankets she just has blankets in there and then over here is her little reading area so I have this little table where she has her hatch sound machine she's been using a hatch since she was very little so we're all pretty much used to sleeping with sound machines now so she has that down below is a basket and then she just has a little owl light in case she needs to get up to use the bathroom her charger and then the remote for her fan and then this is her book wall shelf it holds all of her books perfectly this bookshelf holds about like a hundred books depending on the size of your books these are all mostly for homeschool these are mostly her curriculum books and then i just have this little floor pillow in case she wants to grab a book sit down on the floor or she can either come on her bed but this is her bed i absolutely love the way it turned out so she has this chair which you might recognize she had this um in the homeschool room where her desk was but now it's in here and it matches perfectly in this room so i love that she has a little desk area and then over here she has this little bin that holds all of her scrunchies this i had this from jade's first birthday decor it matched perfectly in here so i just put it in here she has her jewelry box all of her little bracelets and necklaces so she has some books over here i absolutely love these books they are so pretty if you have a child around layla's age who's just starting to read chapter books these are perfect so she has peter pan and then she has alice in wonderland they also have like the jungle book so many different books and then down below she has this macrame basket which you also probably recognize this was previously in my room i was using it as like nursery storage so i had like diapers and wipes in here when jade was a newborn so layla has her lotion in here some hair stuff more lotion and then her brush that's her little bed storage situation and then up top is her betty's bedding which we have been loving you guys Betty's bedding is so worth the money. It is 100% a game changer because she now makes her bed every single day. I did not come in here and organize all of this. She did this herself because it easily just zips up. It is a total game changer. Like I said, I'll leave my link and code down below if you guys want to check out Betty's. These pillows also came with it. The pillow covers also came with the bedding. So love those. And then she has a peace sign pillow. She has Evie Bear for her sister Everly. Same thing with Rosie. And then on the wall, I had all of this stuff previously too. So this was in her old room. This we've had forever. It's a little cork board. And this came from like the Target dollar spot. It's just a little mirror. So that is her bed. And then on this wall right here is her little circle shelf which i've had this for years too so as i said a lot of the stuff in her room just worked out perfectly because i had a lot of this stuff on hand so on here she has the lollipop camera and yes by the way because i know somebody is going to point it out layla does have privacy in this room this is more so for security reasons and then she has this ceramic unicorn that she painted a little candle a little lavender alarm clock which actually does work but it's more for like decor this chill out candle a little rainbow that she also painted at her grandma's house and then she has her butterfly coin purse on here so that's her little shelf and then over here is her like lego situation so i have this lamp over here which is so pretty it matches perfect in here and then she has this little white cart 
where we organize all of her little toys. So she has like her squishies in this basket, like little My Little Pony things, Shopkins, Hatchimals. So <laughs> she's really loving having her own room right now because now her little sisters don't get in all of this stuff. And then down here is all of her Polly Pockets. Who remembers these? I had so many when I was a kid, so it makes me so happy now seeing like my girls play with things like that. She also has her Lego head, which is just some extra Lego storage. Same thing with this one back here, just some extra Lego storage. And then this little Ikea DIY situation. I have a Instagram reel and TikTok going up of how I did this, but she loves it because now she can just easily play over here. I plan on getting her a floor cushion too, so that way she can just sit here and play. And then we also color coordinated all of the Legos in here. So they're all separated by color. And then right here, you may also recognize this basket. This used to be in the playroom, but now it's her laundry basket. And then the last thing is this rug. You may also remember this. This was previously in the playroom a while ago. I had it saved forever because I love it and it's so beautiful. I knew I was gonna use it again and I'm so happy I saved it because it looks perfect in here but that is it you guys let me know your guys' thoughts on Layla's room I absolutely love it she loves it too it is everything that I could have imagined it turned out so perfect I had a vision for this room and it's exactly that I absolutely love it so let me know in the comments down below what is your guys' favorite area in this room I'm not sure what my favorite is it might be her bed so let me know your guys' favorite area in this room if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family make sure you hit that bell that way you guys always get notified every single time we upload and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.